Hello, this is a fully restored Stymie Model K upright piano, 132 centimetres tall. And we've just finished fine regulating it and uh, re-weighting the keys. So just making a, a second video, because there's a video of this before we worked on it. We're very impressed with the restoration of the piano. Uh, tuning pins are extremely tight, for instance, and that's really important. And generally, the work's been done so well. Um, videoed this before, but there's Arbel, proper Steinway Arbel hammers here. Um, which is uh, the underfelt for the young, the older Steinway, sorry. The younger ones ha tend to have a maroon colour, so the older ones, and that means they're the right weight. They tend to be a bit heavy if you put modern ones on. So um, Arbel's obviously helped to choose the right hammers for the piano, and, and generally the, the work's been extremely professionally, so I'm very pleased with that. The regulation wasn't, a, wasn't very good, unfortunately, so the hammers were double bouncing, various reasons. We had to readjust the whole action, actually. Sideways can be a bit complicated, but my colleague who does most of the work is um, used to doing the most complicated ones, so uh, that's useful. For instance, they have a, a different system, uh, which I probably mentioned on the previous video. They have an, an H flange here. I won't uh, go on too much about this because this is meant to be a very quick video, just to show you what the, the tone and the touch is like, and it's uh, wonderful, I, I believe. Such a warm bass, as you'd expect with a top quality Steinway. So um, I think it's second to none in terms of the ones that we've had in before. The piano was obviously repolished and the wood colour has faded, I think, because if you look inside here, you can see a much richer, warmer kind of wood colour that you would expect to have on a rosewood piano. I think this is rosewood, though I get confused between rosewood and mahogany quite a bit, uh, as our team tend to as well. So sometimes it's a bit difficult to, to be sure. Um, so if you're in the trade and are better than us at identifying wood, please let us know. But it has faded and we can certainly repolish the whole piano. Obviously that adds about 60 hours work to do that for an upright, but it can be done and if you like it done then we're very happy to do so. So the main work we had to do was pitch raising, regulation and reweighing the action. It was extremely light. Um, in fact I was really surprised because it was down weight here of 38 and up weight of about 15. So now we've got the downweight at 46, which is about correct for the piano. We like to be slightly lighter on. The old Steinways were slightly lighter, actually, but we can customise that if you want it heavier. It's fine for studying, I think. Um, and it's now 26 upweight, which is much better. 15 upweight is a bit light for the action to return uh, properly, so you can repeat. So that's a really important work that we've, we feel we've had to do. So let's compare it with some other pianos in stock. This is a Beckstein Model 7. And the German Forrick 122, this is a 1990 piano, beautifully made. And the Yamaha U3M. That's a Steinway Upright Model K, 132 centimetres tall, made in 1923. And it's as good as any that we've had in, I'm sure of that. Of course, we haven't got any others in at the moment to compare it with. It's very hard to get hold of high quality ones and, and restore them, and it takes a lot of work. So it's one of our favourites, obviously. And we have sold and restored and sold many. and, and uh, reconditioned ones that have been restored by other people too. So if you're interested in the piano, please do write to info at robertspianos.com. If you'd like us to repolish the piano, that's also a possibility. 
because in every other aspect I think it's perfect. It's just perhaps the polish could do with repolishing. Um, but uh, on the other hand, it looks fine. You can see here it's a little bit faded where the music, or rather not faded here where the music's been, and the rest of the case is a bit faded. But generally, very beautiful piano. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you.